Oh, hey everybody, Sir Stillwater. Hey, in this video, I want to talk about uh, just some village layout management, a couple of best practices. Something I see in a lot of uh, early villages uh, for new players that are kind of newer to the game is their layout is kind of all over the place as far as how they place things, and they have a lot of space. And some are done to be, you know, uh, more decorative and more visually appealing. Some are just kind of random, where they have like blank spaces all over the place and a lot of extra roads and things like that that really um, aren't making the best use of the of the of the map. So um, everybody's got their own style, and I'm not I'm not uh, digging on anybody or anything, but this is just how I do it, and I figure I'd share it for what it's worth. Um, I know. In my guilds that I'm involved with, um, I like to share some of these tips and tricks with some of the uh, the newer members to the you know to the game or members that are less um, less aware of some of these things. So it helps them and it you know it's just a good practice. So that said, uh, I'm getting too long in the intro here. Um, You'll notice a couple patterns here in my lay layout. There's a thousand different ways to lay out a village. Uh, they have maps that do it. There's tools that do it that you can look at your inventory and do calculations and lay it out on a grid paper and I'll, I don't do any of that stuff. I just kind of look at the basics of what I have versus what I have capacity wise. So first off, everything has to have some type of touch point, every type of supply or production or goods or most great buildings have to have some type of connection to the group, to the main, the main building. Um, so that's what the road, the roads touch that you want to minimize your road touch points for that. I've got a little bit of a bad practice right here where I got a lot of road touching it, but we'll deal with that later. Um, so also you want to get the maximum benefit of road versus building. So you'll notice here I'll do a, a row of buildings and then a road which can touch and serve both that side and this side and then another row and then another uh, road which touches that back side of those. So Nothing is really touching two sections of road. Everything is, you know, have one touch point of road so you're not wasting too much of your real estate in roads. Uh, another thing here is I've got a ton of these memorials. I like memorials be in this part of the game because they're they're big and they're high point and they're one item. And we'll talk about motivating and polishing here and probably in the next video I might touch on that topic uh, because we're talking about getting coin and ramping up the game and that's an easy way to do that. So... Uh, one buys are nice because they fill blank spaces, but they have a drawback too, and I'll talk about that in the next video. If you need, if you're in a pinch and you need to get some happiness, one buys are a real good solution for that. Um, so, but all in all, the best practice is to not have any if you can avoid them, unless there's something really special and you like them. Uh, but again, it's everybody has their own preference. I'm not telling people how to play their game. I'm just telling you what I do and just some of my thoughts. So I hope it doesn't come across wrong. So that said, it's been three minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of harvesting here. You see my layout. I try to be as efficient as I can. Same deal here. This road, even though it goes a different direction, it's serving one on the outside and second on the inside and then and around the bound. So, yeah, you notice we're, we're cranking some production now. 697. You notice my supplies can be my bottleneck. So the nice thing about supplies buildings, just I'll close this like totally unrelated note here. Um, nice thing about supplies is you can sit there and just grind fives if you need them. I mean, if you're 10 away from something, you just grind some fives and you got them. Coin, not the case. You get what you get when you get it. So the clock runs and you wait for the clock. So like here, that's why I build a lot of these fives, these five minutes early, because it just keeps grinding. Sure, it's grinding sevens, but I'm in the game anyway, so might as well just, you know, just rake them. So uh, just raking, raking in some coin. <laughs> okay, well, that's all I've got in this one. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. If suggestions or videos, I appreciate that. And please subscribe. Uh, have a great day. Bye.